circular illustration showing faceless cartoons of a Girl Scout, a cartoon park ranger, and a brownie, and the logos for Girl Scouts and the National Park Service. Title that reads, Hey Girl Scouts! A repeat of the park ranger with Girl Scouts logo on the left, and on the right, a group of Girl Scout daisies walking on the Golden Gate Bridge. Title that reads, Have you met your Golden Gate National Parks Rangers? On the left, a photo of a female park ranger with four girls wearing blue Girl Scout sweatshirts. Repeat of the park ranger with Girl Scouts logo on the right. On the left, repeat of the park ranger with Girl Scouts logo. On the right, a photo of five Girl Scout daisies and two female park staff. Title that reads, Hear about the strong women in our park's history from today's strong women rangers. A blue patch with an embroidered star and the logos for the Girl Scouts and the National Park Service on either side. The patch reads, 19th Amendment Centennial Women's Suffrage, 1920 to 2020. Ranger Lucian Saunders speaking from home with a virtual backdrop of Land's End. Hey Girl Scouts, my name is Lucian Saunders and I'm the Supervisory Ranger for Outreach and Volunteer Programs at Golden Gate National Recreation Area in San Francisco. When I was a young girl growing up in Pennsylvania, I was a brownie. My favorite memories from that time were working as part of a team, contributing to service projects for my community, and wearing a uniform. I suppose that experience probably led me to work as a park ranger when I got older. This video introduces you to several of my female colleagues who work at different sites around our park, including Muir Woods and the Presidio. Each of them shares a story about an inspiring moment from the past. We invite you to explore this video and other resources on our website. You can learn about women who fought for voting rights in the 19th and 20th centuries in California and across the country, or about women from different time periods who also stood up for what they believed in to achieve progress for women. And you can learn about women who work in many different jobs for the National Park Service today. After exploring these resources, you can design a project with the help of your troop leader, and then contact us for your 19th Amendment Centennial Patch when your project is complete. We're excited that the National Park Service can support girls like you to learn more about inspiring women from history. We hope that you discover the power in yourselves to make positive changes for girls in your community, across the country, and around the world. Ranger Stephanie Weinstein speaking at Muir Woods in front of Redwood Trees. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm a ranger here at Muir Woods National Monument, home of the old growth redwood forest. I used to be an elementary school teacher, and now I get to teach people about the wonderful redwood forest ecosystem. I'm proud to be a woman in the National Park Service because I get to inspire other girls to feel confident and knowledgeable in the outdoors. My friend and coworker, Ranger Elizabeth, is gonna talk about the women who played an important role in the story of Muir Woods. I can't wait for you to hear it, and I can't wait for you to think about your part in this story. Ranger Elizabeth Villano speaking at Muir Woods in front of a redwood tree. Hi, my name is Ranger Elizabeth. I am originally from Illinois, but I have lived in California for about three years, and I cannot imagine living anywhere else now. I am a ranger at Muir Woods National Monument, and I am incredibly passionate about sharing women's history at Muir Woods. And one of the biggest reasons is because when I first started working here, women weren't really in the story. The way that we told the story was three or four, depending on how you told it, rich, powerful white men worked together and saved this place from the threat of being logged. And that is a true story, but it's not the complete story. So if you were a visitor, if you were me looking at this story, you thought the only way that you could save places that you loved was being rich, white, and a man. And I am white, but I am not rich and I am not a man. And so to me, how could I go out in the world and save the places that I really loved and was passionate about? So when we started looking at the impact that women had on this forest, the way that they helped save this beautiful canyon, even though they didn't have voting power, even though they were women, you know, that to me shows that everybody can find their place in this world and everybody has a voice and can use it. So whether you're a woman, whether you're a person of color, that representation in our stories is really important. So I am so grateful to be able to share these stories of women in Muir Woods with you all now. Ranger Fatima Colindres speaking from home in front of a green cartoon forest backdrop and a live plant. 
Hi, my name is Fatima Colindres, and I am a park ranger with the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. I work at the Presidio of San Francisco. One of my favorite things to do here as a park ranger with the outreach team is to bring groups out to their national parks and tell the stories, the natural cultural stories of this special place. My main focus is ethnobotany. I love to share the stories of how plants and people have interacted with each other, the ecology of this special place. One of my favorite stories to tell is the story of Juana Briones. Juana Briones lived in the Presidio during the Spanish, Mexican, and early American periods. I love Juana's story because Juana was a great leader, a great woman in history who helped her community as a medicine woman. She inspires me to tell this story because I have a strong connection to plants. And I got this connection because of another very special woman in my life, my mother, who also is named Juana. My mother always shared with me the special uses of plants and how important they are to all of us as medicine, as food, and to make our world more beautiful. So for that reason, I love to share Juana's story, not just because she was a curandera, but because she was a great woman who had to protect her family and help her community. I hope that this story of Juana Briones inspires you to do the same. Ranger Sochil Marisol Garibe, speaking under the arched brick halls at Fort Point. Hi, my name is Sochi Marisol Garibe and I am a ranger here at Golden Gate NRA, a part of the Southern Areas Interpretation Team. Growing up in Los Angeles, I didn't have much exposure to the great outdoors until I made the decision to attend a college that was the complete opposite of what I knew. Making that decision allowed me to discover myself, expand and foster my love of the environment, and to have a desire to pursue and be of service once I graduated. I'm proud to be part of something bigger than myself and stories like that of Captain Dora E. Thompson are so inspiring. Dora's devotion to a cause greater than herself led her to be a phenomenal leader and a chief nurse where she served at the Army General Hospital at the Presidio of San Francisco. While there, she successfully navigated the nurses and the hospital through the disaster of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Her connection to her community reminds me to give 100% every day because my service and actions are more than just myself. Just like Dora inspires me, I hope that you're able to find strong women that inspire you. Ranger Maria Jose Alcantara speaking in front of a sunset at Fort Berry in the Marin Headlands. Hello friends, I'm Ranger Maria Jose, another park ranger at Golden Gate National Recreation Area. National parks have been a part of my life since the very beginning. My parents took me on my very first camping trip when I was just a toddler. I went on my first backpacking trip in fifth grade. And in high school, I became an intern and volunteer in this very national park. Along the way, I met park rangers who inspired me to become a park ranger too. And through them, I was able to see myself wearing the famous hat and the gray and green. I hope that you too can find inspiration through the strong stories our park has to offer, the legacy of the natural and cultural history, those untold stories, the women of our parks, and our strong female staff. I hope that you can visualize yourself too in a future career in your national parks. Discover how you can earn your very own 19th Amendment Centennial Commemorative Patch. You can also find my Ranger Friends programs or you can find more history about the park's stories by visiting your park safely or visit us virtually online with our virtual program offerings. Have a great one, everybody. Title text above reading, celebrating women in our parks and history. Below, the Girl Scout 19th Amendment Centennial Women's Suffrage Patch, a blue oval patch with a white embroidered star including the logos for the National Park Service and the Girl Scouts. Text that reads, earn your own 19th Amendment Centennial Commemorative Patch. Text that reads, visit our website for details, www.nps.gov 
G-O-G-A slash learn slash kids youth slash 19th patch dot H-T-M. Video panning a landscape of Chrissy Field Marsh and the Golden Gate Bridge on an afternoon. On the right, credits that read cast Ranger Lucian Saunder, Ranger Stephanie Weinstein, Ranger Elizabeth Viano, Ranger Fatima Colindres, Ranger Xochitl Marisol Garibay, Ranger Maria Jose Alcantara. Additional text that reads filmed and produced during Shelter in Place Summer 2020. Additional footage filmed in the GGNRA previously. Credits that read, produced by Maria Jose Alcantara, music provided by hooksounds.com, song, Wonderful Morning, additional video clips by Maria Jose Alcantara, partnership with the Girl Scouts of America for the 19th Amendment Centennial 1920 to 2020. On the left, panning footage of Muir Woods Redwood Forest, the tall trees with the light seeping in through the branches. Ending page is a landscape of a sunset with an orange, blue, and pink sky at the Marin Headlands with the Rodeo Lagoon. In the foreground, the National Park Service logo is in the center. At the bottom, text that reads, learn more about Golden Gate National Recreation Area www.nps.gov slash g-o-g-a